we're on the same page. This is John McGurk. I'm the Nashville Bridge Maven, as you well know. I'm here with Patty Tucker, the queen of Teach Bridge in a Day. And you've just finished your presentation. It was wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate and, it. And, and I am, I am stunned to see 42 tables in this room. <laughs> well, I think, that, I think that there's a need for a way for us to teach bridge for a modern audience. And the most valuable commodity that people have nowadays is their time. Everybody is busy. And the idea of having to take a six or eight week class before you can even play a card just is hard for people. They, they can't even go just play with friends. Well, well, and so well, what we it, want to do is make it possible. Yeah, no, you know, look, you've proved something I've always said. Learning to play bridge is easy. Playing well is a lifetime achievement. Exactly. exactly. Okay? You know, nobody nobody walks in the door of our club and, and sits down as a life master. Correct. It just it just doesn't happen that way. Uh, although I, I know certain players who play as if it did, and I got to be right as honest, right honest with you, when I play against those guys, I, I wonder why they play at all. I mean, if they always do it right, always make their contract, always make the right play, where's the fun? Exactly. Not, not that, not that, not that I have anything against winning. <laughs> uh, I met you up in Gatlinburg in 2011 at the Youth and Bridge Conference. Mm -hmm. Youth and Bridge it, Symposium. Yeah, and you at that time you were you were working in the Atlantic Pub Atlanta Public Schools. Well, we still have Atlanta Junior Bridge, which is a nonprofit organization in Atlanta that ah. teaches bridge to kids. Um, okay. We've been doing it since 2006, and about 3,000, 4,000 kids have gone through the program over the years. Um, of course, keeping the kids is hard because when they go into high school, get jobs. Well, but, but see, it, it, you know, the way I look at it, uh, what you're doing, it doesn't matter that you, quote, keep the kids. I, I think it's just wonderful if you expose them to like Like, for example, we were just talking a minute ago. I learned to play bridge in 1959 when I was in the army. Fell in with a group, fell in with a group of bridge players. We played bridge all the time. Mm -hmm. and we we even went so far as to set up our own duplicate bridge game. And we were so dumb, we didn't know we could write to the ACBL and they would tell us how to do it. <laughs> okay, we sat down and just did it. And we used poker cards because that's what we had. Yeah, I, I learned it in 1964. And I played my first tournament a year later. I was 11. And uh, I've never looked back. Bridge is, I think, the best game in the entire world. It is a social game. It gives you a lot of um, interesting people to meet, a lot of interesting things to do. It's challenging. It's competitive. It's elegant. Um, well, the, the one thing, the one thing I like about your program is, is it when when bridge players come to us. They want to play bridge, and I noticed in your what you've got them doing is you've got them playing bridge in the first thirty minutes of your course. Well, they're playing, maybe they're, maybe even sooner. They're playing cards in the first five or ten minutes, playing a hand. Um, and there's a lot of people that that uh, believe that focusing on play of the hand at the in the beginning bridge classes is the way to go. And you know what? That's that's okay if what they want to do is. They've already decided, I want to learn bridge, and I'm going to go, you know, commit eight or 16 weeks to learn how to play the hands before I ever play bridge. But most people get involved in bridge because their friends do, or neighbors, or girlfriends, or boyfriends, or husbands, or wives. And they want to learn enough to be able to sit down and play with them, um, albeit not very well, <laughs> but they, they want to play with them. So you have to teach them... Um, or should teach them, I think, enough of the rudimentary grid, uh, bidding that they can sit down and actually play in a game with friends. Then if they like it, they'll learn more, just like I did. Well, I mean, yeah, I started you, you, you reading know, books. Yeah. One of the, and, and also, getting this many people into our, into our club, I hope they will find out that starting out, we do not eat our young. Right. <laughs> we do not, have, in fact, have two heads. And we are decent people. Right. Well, the club, your club here has just done a tremendous job of welcoming people. Um, the food's been terrific. The club is a beautiful club. And um, I think 
the helpers have just melded with the people that are here bonded with them. I, I, I can't imagine leaving this club today not liking the people that you met. Well, let, me, let me give you a little secret about nearly half of the people that are sitting around at Proctor and the table are under 299 players. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of life masters in the club, okay? Right. But today, they're not here. Most of these players are what you would call a novice or intermediate player Well, and in some respects, that's very good because they are close enough to remember what it right. was like when They're, you didn't know right. anything. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They're, I'm one of you. I'm not one of them. <laughs> it just it just worked out that way. I mean, it, we didn't. I'm not on the committee, but we we, we didn't we didn't it, it wasn't started out that way. Okay. Well, I just think that. Um, you, know, you never know what the timing is going to be on certain events. I know that there were several people here earlier that were helping move tables and helping with registration that, you know, are perhaps have more experience or whatever. The biggest thing is that the club pulled together right. to make this happen. Right. And we had we had some we had some dynamite publicity. Oh yes. And Whoever did the publicity and got into the newspaper that, that was, they did a that great was, job. That was Vicky Vicky Buchanan, she did it all. And Grace, I tell you what, what a dynamo. <laughs> and uh, the, you, gotta, you gotta try playing against them. <laughs> <laughs> I do. The food was just marvelous. The oh, food yeah. was terrific. The playing site was great. Just first class all the way. Nashville yeah. should be extremely proud of what they've done. And this is the biggest Lauren Bridge in a day ever. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad they to broke hear that. the record. Well, that's 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 good. We, we, you know, I was talking to the president Jay Hitch, and uh, you know, th this is one of these kind of things that we're probably going to re we're probably going to do this again, not right away soon, but but it, but something that something we can do in the future. Right. Well, I want I want you just for a moment tell me about your your preparation. Uh, Whirlwind Bridge. Um, I started with uh, actually a student of mine whose background was in corporate training. Uh, I had a lot of students that were wanting ways to practice. Uh, and a lot of the bridge sites, most I think of the bridge games and the bridge sites that are trying to teach people or where people can go play, it's uh, two ends of the spectrum. Either people who really don't know how to play bridge at all on some of the more gaming sites who just pick it up, or there's a, in some of the computer games and things of that in bridge, they assume that you're a duplicate player, when in fact the vast majority of bridge players in the United States are not duplicate right, bridge exactly. players. Yeah. So there was a hole where people who were just learning and didn't know a lot of conventions or anything like that didn't have really a way to practice. So we started, uh, we did two things, we have a series of workbooks that people can um, do it's all workbooks, you know, they just practice what they've learned. And then we came up with the concept of Learn Bridge in a Day. And my partner, Melissa Bernhardt, was um, excellent at um, putting a structure to everything. I have uh, perhaps more well, bridge know, knowledge. She had much more training knowledge. Whenever whenever I see somebody that's successful, I, can count, I know two things. One, they know what they're doing, and number two, they have a staff. They have people helping them. It's practically impossible to do anything well all by your lonesome. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question about the, you've got an iPhone app. I'm impressed by the fact you've got an iPhone. Not, a, not everybody has one of those. Well, that came um, with great game products, and it's an app for the workbooks. We're trying to figure out a way to do Learn Bridge in a Day as an app, how we can tailor that so that somebody could actually go and do it, but that's, I, I, we're not sure know, how that I, might work, I, I, but the if, workbooks are an app. I, if, if, if I could be permitted to give you some advice, I think you're going down the right track. I think what I think what you need to do is to find a way to certify certify clubs mm -hmm. as, as, they, as they present the program. Well, we've got a, a whole training uh, module, if you want to call it that, built, and we're uh, actually trying to make that possible now. Um, but I think that having a way that 
technology isn't just for the kids anymore, and it isn't just for the technical mavens. With iPhones and iPads, technology is now in everybody's hands, regardless of age. Well, you know, I, so I, there I, needs to be a way that we can reach people through that technology. As a matter of fact, that's that's I have two podcasts. One one is called the Bridge Maven, and the other one the other one's called Me and My iPhone. And I got to tell you a funny story. Uh, there was a there was a, there was a lady uh, on uh, on a friend of mine's webinar, and she carried her iPad outside, and she was she could she couldn't understand why when it got on the heat it shut off. And this this is somebody who's in the computer business. It was it was it was great. Well, look, Patty, I know you got to go back to work. Thank you very much for for spending a few minutes with me. Uh, I'm going to send you a copy of this when I when I get it finished, and I, I think I'll send you the raw footage so you can do whatever you'd like with it. Okay. And I really appreciate you being my guest. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye-bye.